Some of the other control charts in uh, Six Sigma are designed to detect changes more quickly. And one of those is the QSUM chart. And so the idea here is that you're going to specify uh, a target value. And here we have some data, and we're just going to select that with our mouse. Click on the QI macros, go down to our pull down menu, and go down to QSUM. And this stands for cumulative sum. And so it's actually adding and doing a whole bunch of crazy calculations to figure out um, <clears throat> how things are changing. And well, we want to put our target value, in this case it's 10. And again, this is from Montgomery's Intro to SPC book. And here's our QSUM. And whatever period of time this is. Uh, and there's our QSUM. All right. And here you can see that our process all of a sudden started going out of control here and ends up above the, the line here. So probably our process shifted right here and somehow between these two points something started going awry. Now the QSUM is a way to go about actually detecting these kinds of changes more quickly. And so it may be applicable in your situation and you might want to give it a try. And the test data is in uh, the QI Macros test data in my documents. And you can download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from qimacros.com.